I'm going to begin by dropping down a geometry container and diving inside. In order to import our character animation, I'm going to use a character, an FBX character import node. And I'm going to select our walking.fbx. Right now, nothing's happening. In order to fix that, drop down a bone deform node. If you hold J and drag, it'll connect all of the nodes together at once. Now, what we're going to do is cycle this animation to make it last longer because right now it's quite short. First step in doing so is we're going to extract the, mo the locomotion so that our character is walking in place. So let's find the extract locomotion node and connect that. By default, it's not going to be doing anything. And that's because we need to give it a locomotion joint. So let's click on this, this arrow and select the hips. Now, if we play through, we can see our character is walking in place. Let's go ahead and find the frame where our animation ends. And that's going to be frame 24. All right, so we know that our frame is or our animation is 24 frames long. We're going to convert this into a motion clip and the motion clip is going to extract all of the poses of our animation and it's going to convert that into geometry so you can see each pose all at once. Now we can see that we've gotten an error here and if we play nothing's happening, but we can easily fix that by converting this back. So if we do motion clip evaluate, it's going to evaluate it uh, so that we're seeing one pose per frame, which is the way we had it before. And so now if we play it, we can see it's working as normal. In order to cycle our, our clip, we're going to drop down a motion clip cycle. And I'm going to insert that right here between these two nodes. And I'm going to do for cycles after I'm going to set that to one. And so we, we know that our animation is 24 frames long. And I've noticed that there's this annoying thing after you cycle it, the next frame, it won't move. But if you go two frames forward, it will move. And it seems to be the case with Mixamo animations that there's always one frame right there where it's not going to move. But we can fix that under the blend section. Where it says method, I found that overlap sequences works best. And if I set the blend frames to 0 0.5, and now if we go from 24 to 25 to 26, we can see that is now smoothly smoothly blending between the different cycles. And so let's go back to the cycle menu and I'm just going to set this to 10. And now if we play, our animation is now smoothly cycling over and over again. But we need to bring back that locomotion. So if we go to this locomotion section right here, where we can click on use existing locomotion and our character disappear because he's walked off screen. So now we can see our character is walking in a straight line, but let's make this more interesting and let's make them walk along a path. So I'm going to drop down a curve SOP. And if you hit space in one, uh, is it space one? Oh, no, but space two. If you hit space two, it'll bring you to top view. And this is going to make it easier to draw our path. So I'm just going to draw a basic arc. And that's good enough for now. And then space one, which is going to bring us back to our normal perspective viewport. Now I'll drop down a resample node. Wire that in. And where it says treat polygons as, I'm going to switch that to subdivision curves. And now we have a nice arc. And so I'm going to control click this template flag. And now if I put my display flag on the bone to form, we can see both at once. We can see our mocap and the curve. To make our mocap follow the path, we're going to use a path to form. And so we're going to wire uh, the second input is going to go to our path. And right away, we can see it's not looking too good, but we could fix that quite easily. Let me scroll back to the top and go to the capture and align section. You pretty much always want the geo capture origin to be on custom when you're working with mocap. So that's going to fix that issue. But we can see that it's actually it looks very strange right now. But Fortunately, that's an easy fix. If we go to here, if we scroll down just a little bit, we can turn on capture after end position. And so now if we play, it's going to be walking along the arc as intended.